Hey guys, Josh from Dodger Dailies. Um, and today we're doing a snorkel on the Curia. Uh, I've already started taping up the the template. Um, I wanted to make sure it was perfect because uh, uh, you know drilling a hole in your car it's a bit a bit how's it going. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fit up a snorkel. See how we go. Let's hope it all lines up. All right, so that's the best I'm probably gonna get it. Um, I found the easiest way to do it was to start on this back edge here and then just keep pressing it and like making it go to the shape of the guard, trying to get it as flat as possible. Um, I think the next thing is to like sort of mock it up, make sure it all lines up where it needs to roughly, and then I get the whole saw out. Oh, it's gonna start raining, so I've kind of got to rush this because I don't want to have to start the template again. I'm um, starting with sprinkle as is, so let's see how I go. I've got the hole saw so it's marked where I need to put it. I'm just going to drill out the rest of the mounting holes for now in case it does start raining because the rain will ruin the template um, that comes with the snorkel kit. So I'll get those drills mount, mounted, mounting holes drilled out. Sorry, a bit of a tongue twisted bit there. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully I can get it finished, but I think the rain's going to stop me. So that all took, it took 22 minutes to drill that hole because I went to Bunnings and bought the cheapest hole saw I could get. Um, next thing now is, so yeah, that pipe there is the is the intake tube. Um, but the next thing to do, I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take the guard off um, 
but that may need to wait till next weekend now as it's getting dark um let's see how i go with finding the tools to do it um before it gets too dark if not catch you on the flip side all right guys so last you seen we were putting the snorkel on the courier um they've sent me the wrong template so things don't line up it's been a few weeks now because we've <clears throat> been a little bit busy and uh yeah i uh, crashed into a telegraph pole on huey huey road so um i've been busy with that today now the little green buzz box is up for sale and i think that's the people rocking up now um so yeah parting out nissan navara off for his test drive please fucking take this thing Car's now sold. The owners are pretty happy with it somehow. But um, yeah. Bye. Uh, little buzz box is gone. Now we can try and find a car for Steph. Um, but yeah, as before, we haven't really done much with the Courier since, um, you know, the start of, like, the other day, or the start of this video, I should say. Because, um, yeah, I hit a power pole down on Huey Huey Road at Wong, and I was just spent the last few days and weekends and whatnot um, pulling the motor out and the gearbox out. Um, yeah. So where we're at with the Courier is um luckily for me the big hole is in the right spot but all of these little ones yeah they're all slightly off because the template they gave me they said to line it up with the indicator and um didn't quite work out so i'll have to come up with a new plan to mount that onwards um so yeah, um yeah that was probably be i don't know i might get onto that this afternoon once i get this gearbox out but yeah so that's why we've been a bit quiet with our videos. We've been a bit all over the place. Plus, you might have also seen that um, if, you've, if you're following on our Facebook page, you would have seen the new drift car because the two Beamers are taking a lot longer to build than we wanted. Box and stuff's almost out. I've just been fighting with it because the transmission tunnel got damaged and I couldn't get to the top bell housing. Um, so I've had to undo the torsion bar brackets and then I've had to drop fucking Drop a heap of different things that I normally wouldn't drop with this But um, yeah, I'll maybe update you when I get it um, When I get the box out, don't know yet. I don't know if I want to record um, Doing a part out on the Navara. It's a pretty sad Sad day for us or sad couple of weeks um, Yeah, you know the Navara took a decent whack, but we're alive. We're good. Mrs. Is, um, Stephanie is very much bruised up um, around where the seatbelt was, but I just had a sore knee, and that's all good now. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Motors out, bit of dodginess. Um, managed to break one of the wheels. Uh, right, can't. Um, yeah. So, alrighty. <laughs> Just a bit of a flex. <laughs> That's just what's been going on with my side of things. Um, yeah, nothing seems to be going right for us lately. First the Fiat gets written off and then, you know, we have a bit of a prang in the... A little bit of... A big... Smash the Navara into a telegraph pole, 
you know. Um, yeah, and then we have the courier's parts not lining up, uh, having to sell the little green thing to try and fund a new car. Um, so yeah, shit has not been going well for us at all. Um, so yeah. Anyways, catch you guys. Also, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.